Agenda item 17 is discussion and possible direction on reducing the cost of city council agenda packets. Is that going to be Mr. Marshall? Um, Mayor, members of the council, we were we were asked by a, a member of the council to uh, look into uh, possibly reducing uh, the paper we use for uh, the agenda packets or going paperless. Uh, so we explored the options of uh, what what we are actually spending now, and uh, we came up with a few uh, suggestions, thoughts, and, and in the documentation you have, there were four options given. Uh, I've got a little presentation, uh, kind of going to narrow that down to three because uh, option two uh, is using part-time staff, and that could be done on any one of the options. So. Um, I'll kind of go through this. Uh, first option we have is we could stay the same, stay what we're, do what we're doing now, which is uh, you know printing packets for all the members of the council, several staff members, uh, anyone in the public that requests it. Um, and we also have a packet for the uh, uh, public record that we have to maintain. Um, we went through this based on the paper and printing that we are doing plus the staff time that is involved and estimated that it was currently costing us about 27,000 uh, per year to do the packets. Uh, we have already reduced that by several thousand. We've cut the cost of the um, we've cut the cost of the per print by two cents a page so that has reduced it a little bit. Um, so that that's the uh, total packets right now are account for about 12% of our printing uh, that we are we are currently doing citywide. Uh, so I just want to make that make you aware of that. Um, the uh, the next option we have we could uh, do away with the packets for staff members. Um, this would potentially cut about sixteen thousand uh, dollars of expense. Um, and uh, we could do that. We, we could already cut some of the uh, uh, printing costs with, by doing that. We can also, um, depending on whether you wanted to use part-time staff, we could cut more uh, all the way up to about 16,000. Uh, in order to do that, we would have to have iPads uh, available to some members of the staff, which some already have those, so there would be a huge expense there. And the software required to do this, we already own, so there wouldn't be any expense on that. Um, we could take this a step further and go to where we only print the public packets. Um, that would eliminate uh, all packets for staff and for the council. Uh, that would be another another option. That has a potential to save about $22,000 a year. And uh, that would save, you know, estimated 390 hours of labor that's that's been used to create these packets. Um, there would be an expense to, uh, if the council chose to go this route for iPads for yourselves uh, to do that. But again, the software is already in home, so the expense again wouldn't be a, a huge one. So uh, with that, um, just look, ask or if you have any questions or. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Marshall. Any questions for Mr. Marshall? Councilman Ramson. You look surprised. Um, I think the technical review, there was a question about the, the cost and how this changed for black and white. For black and white, yeah. If, if we were to do the to a, an all black and white packet, based on the full uh, printing like we're doing now, it would cost about 19000 So we'd save about a little over $7,000. But that's that. probably not unlikely that that would be entirely black and white because Correct. of maps and other attachments that are required. Oh, okay. Councilman Gustavson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I also have a question on technical reviews. Uh, before we did technical reviews, we did technical reviews, we just called them something else. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden we started printing two sets which is uh, placed for about $3,800, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that, that has definitely, I mean, at, at the point we're at now, 
where we're printing two sets, we're doubling the cost. So we, if, if we didn't have those packets, it would reduce the, the cost in half. Seems totally logical to me that we would just use the one we use for here uh, because there's updates that have to be made on either one. Yeah. Uh, to, to me, it seemed like a, a big waste of money, and a lot of trees are dying for nothing. We can still uh, accomplish the same thing, still have technical reviews, right. with all the same information. Uh, and that that you know, would be more of a question. We just don't have to carry in two sets of. Right. That would be more of a question for. And actually, I think sure that uh, to we talked to staff on that. I think you'll find out that there's a lot more work that goes into the technical review than the other one because once the other one's already produced technical review uh, requires it be put into a different format with different numbers and the whole thing. So it just becomes more confusing uh, right. and more time consuming. So they can't just copy one to the other. It has to be, has to be altered to make the second technical review. I think it's pretty critical that we still allow uh, the press and people want to come to meetings and people have an interest in certain <coughs> things that are coming up and hard topics. Yeah, and we're, by no means, I mean, we're still allowing the, you know, if they come in and request one, they would still be able to get one. Right. So there's nothing at this point that, that uh, would be <coughs> Well, that, that's a, a, the total we're spending on um, just that segment of printing because the total printing, which is $27,000, all of that doesn't come from what happens with the uh, with the council, but 36 percent of it's tied up just in those right. reviews. So the the difference is there's a, yeah there's a little bit of a difference between how it's prepared for the council with the dividers and, and all that takes a little more time than just printing a packet and giving it to the and more money <laughs> because we're using the packet different packets. Right. Anyway, Councilman Lippman. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I'm a, I just would comment that we've gone paperless at Southern Nevada Health District, um, and it's a huge board with very, very large packets at every one of our meetings, even though they're only monthly meetings. And they do put out packets for the general public, and I noticed that at the end of, and it's a fairly large crowd usually there, at the end of the meetings, there's still an awful lot of them sitting there that are going to go into the uh, shredder the next day. Uh, and with the iPad, I know that they're saving a tremendous amount of money. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Withheller. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Marshall, mm -hmm. the, the iPads, uh, if we were to procure them, they're going to cost somewhere around $4,000. Is that that's the number here in my packet? $30 yeah, that's, that's uh, I believe that was uh, seven iPads plus some accessories. So Okay, but if to, to simplify this, if, if we're... If we're running somewhere around twenty-seven thousand dollars right now in just paper expense, pretty much paper expense, not counting labor expenses. No, the twenty-seven thousand so counts the labor. Okay. Well, if we can save twenty-four thousand dollars a year, twenty-three thousand dollars a year, right at the top, just by going paperless, it just seems like it's a no-brainer, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I don't know if there are any of associated or hidden costs that I don't, that I'm not aware of, or yeah, we've uh, tried to account for every cost that's involved in it so as best we could okay thank you very much councilman rapson uh, I, I would like to make a motion if there's no more comment uh let me check one more councilman gus davison are you do you have a comment or a question your light's still on sir okay evidently there's no other questions or comments go ahead councilman rapson a usual format here, I'll probably screw this up, but um, I would like to, to move to uh, reduce the dependency on paper by accepting uh, number option number four with assurances that uh, the public uh, upon request would get a copy of the agenda backup too, that there is online publication of the agenda and the agenda backup continues so people can access it and print it at home if they so desire for the relevant piece. And three, the um, obviously the public one of the uh, for our records is is kept. Thank you, Councilman uh, Councilman Haven. Same. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Call for the vote. 
That motion carries. Thank you.